We are in North Carolina and a friend of ours had recommended that we go to this horse island near Beaufort. We looked it up and then immediately made a beeline over there. We knew we were going to love it. Um, it's a boat ride over, very reasonably priced. It's $13 for adults and $7 for kids aged 3 to 11. 11. Children under 3 are free. Uh, it's a nice little boat ride over there that was fun. We get to this island and it was pretty amazing. Three miles of pristine beach coastline. Um, there was only a handful of people there, so that was right up our alley. It was a beautiful day. It was really windy, so our audio didn't show up very well in the video. So we're just going to talk over it here. We're going to go for a walk. So you can take your shoes off. We went a little bit later in the day, unfortunately, and our big plan to go there is we heard that there are sand dollars and these horses. And so we were super excited to go. We, we told the kids about the sand dollars. They had never seen oh, yeah, one in person. Cool. Cool. And we were gonna gather as many as we could and paint them and they're just talking up a storm about what they're gonna do with these sand dollars. Yeah, we got there and we didn't find a single one. I think maybe one of the kids found a half of one or something. Um, so we were a little disappointed with that. We ended up talking to the captain on the way home and he said that they come in with the tide and then they go back out. So you really should get there in the morning and then you can gather a ton of sand dollars. Um, but regardless of not finding any sand dollars, we were, the day was amazing. We loved it, every minute of it. We're making our way across the seashell graveyard. See what lies beyond. So the island is really cool. We had walked down probably less than a mile, but there was like nobody had gone farther than us. So it was just wide open space and it felt really neat being, kind of felt like you had the island to yourself. You could walk across to the backside and it was like a lagoon there. And it was a lot more calm, like not as windy there. And just, it was kind of neat. It was like peaceful back there, but the water, it's a little stagnant back there, I think, but um, just a cool option to go back there. But the, the main beach is really nice, and I, I would definitely want to spend like an entire day there. It just seemed like neat knowing that you were on an island that you can't just like walk and get in your car if you wanted. You're, you're kind of stuck there, and it was, it was cool. Nobody else down this way on this island. There's just some kayaks parked down there, but the people took a walk. So we got the whole thing to ourselves. Pretty awesome. There's a sandbar right out there where there's more people there than over on this big island. We also didn't see any horses until we were walking back to the area where the captain was going to pick us up. Um, this guy passed us and he asked us if we saw the horses and we said no. And so we just followed him. He knew where he was going. Um, and we saw a few horses and they were beautiful. They, we didn't get super close to them, but we could still see them and admire them. and. Um, it was great. It was a great way to end our little trip to Beaufort. Yeah, so what's really cool is the Spaniards brought these horses over about 500 years ago, and they've been living there wild ever since. They can swim across to other islands in this little cluster at, to find food, and they dig down into the sand to get water, and it's it's just pretty neat that they're they've been living there this whole time and kind of neat to see them. The next time we go back, we will definitely go in the morning and be better prepared. Um, there's no stores or bathroom facilities. So you definitely keep that in mind for food and water. And then of course, little ones that have to go to the bathroom. Um, we stayed about three hours and 
the sun was beating down on us. There's not very many trees where you can just hang out by the trees. Um, so we didn't have any umbrella with us, no tent. We ended up buying a beach tent after. And so the next time we go back, we'll definitely bring that. Despite all of that, definitely we give it a 10 out of 10. Bird Shoals was amazing. We can't wait to go back and we can't wait to check out the other islands too. I really like the the boat ride. It's a small boat and going, we were the only ones on there. So just the five of us plus the captain. On the way back, um, there was another family on it, but um, it was a quick trip, but just enough to give you that taste of being on a boat. And um, yeah, the captain was cool. And it was, he ended up taking us, I forgot about this. He ended up picking us up and driving around the little lagoon um, area and um, there all the horses were right there where we saw them on the other side on the actual island um, so that was that was nice that he yeah. took his time to show us more horses yeah the kids really like the boat ride they haven't ever been on a boat except when they were babies so yeah they thought it was really neat if you are in the market for a pretty decent sized yachts you can check them out there mm. uh, there's quite a few that just park there yeah nice collection yeah I wasn't into boats before and we got into the truck and I told Dustin that I would like to live on a boat so an option is we could put our RV on the boat mm -hmm. these boats were huge and we might do that how much are they? Like a couple thousand? Yeah, you could probably find them on like Craigslist for next to nothing. Make sure you guys stay tuned. We got some really cool stuff coming up on our channel. We're excited about it. And you're going to be too. We can tell. <laughs> and as always, don't forget to like this video, share it with your friends. And if you find our content uh, relatable or funny or whatever it is, don't forget to subscribe. Thanks, guys. See you next time. Peace out, Girl Scout. Hasta la vista. Just add some sugar. Add some pepper to mine. She got me this for Father's Day. Dad life, dad bod, dad jokes. Yeah, I get it, babe. I get it. I'm old. Take 15. In. Take 74. Action. Take 75. North Carolina. Action. <laughs> Take 77. And action. And that's that. <laughs>